the Fox okay. 5 Surprise Squad? No. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh, oh, oh. Thank you so much! It's game time. Oh my god! We suit up. That excitement never goes away. Gear up. But we're going in undercover. Oh my god! And in our playbook, anything is possible. We're just getting started. What? Hopefully we can bring you some joy along the way. This is the Fox 5 Surprise Squad Super Edition. The Fox 5 Surprise Squad started out as a simple idea to show that simple acts of kindness can change lives. Now, three years later and nearly 500 surprises, we are starting to see the impact the Surprise Squad is having around the world. I'm Monica Jackson. And I'm Cassandra Jones. Tonight, we take a look at our most memorable surprises. Plus, we check in with the families to see how they're doing now. We begin with a story that was our first to go viral with more than 3 million hits on social media. Why? See for yourself. So the Fox 5 Surprise Squad is on our way to surprise two little boys who are PBR fans. But they are more than just fans. This sport holds a very special place in their hearts. Hi, I'm Monica Jackson with the Fox 5 Surprise Squad. What's your name? Jet. Hi, Jet. You are Jay. So nice to meet you guys. I heard that you, you wrote a book report and it's all about PBR and your love of it. Why do you love PBR so much? Well, because my dad, um, he rode bulls. I wanted to be a bull rider just like my dad. I hope to be just like him someday. I started on steers whenever I was his age. How does it make you feel when you're riding? Well, it gets your adrenaline going. We're getting ready to go to the um, PBR here. It was a birthday present for me. Hopefully I can get to meet my favorite bull rider, J.B. Mooney. Why are you getting so emotional, sweetheart? Because it was something my dad did. It was because he passed away. Still kind of get emotional about it. Uh, Bo, their father, uh, passed away. He passed away from cancer. This was his hat, and um, it says here, it says, custom made especially for Bo Kellogg. When PBR first heard these boys' stories, we couldn't do enough for them. We wanted to pull out all the stops and make this a the most memorable moment of their lives. Okay, here's the deal. So I just want you guys to come outside with me, okay? Hey, come this way. We've got radar. We've got all right, all right, all right. And we got chicken on the chain. Awesome. I've hey, seen these ones before on TV. And are you in shock right now? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I have another surprise for you. You ready? Yes, ma'am. What are you thinking? Come on over. That's J.B. Mooney. That's J.B. Mooney! Yes! How are y'all doing? Great. Tonight, I'd like to invite y'all to walk down the blue carpet with me. And, as my guest, tickets to the world finals. Come watch me ride. Thank you. Yes, sir. No problem. I love this sport because my dad did it. What? And um, I just look up to him, and I look up to you too. I appreciate it, thank you. He wants to do it because his father did it. He's got a reason behind it, and he's got the passion for it, you can already tell, so you'll be seeing him a lot more in a couple years. To, to have bulls drive up in the front yard and to meet their hero, JB, was really special. And I do believe that God has a way of taking care of children and their dads looking down on them and happy for them. I just kind of think about him and how he did that. To get to do it with my family is like a gift. Jace, now 10, still rides miniature bulls along with his little brother Jet. He's also an all-star pitcher on his baseball team. His mother admits baseball, well that's a little easier on her heart. More super surprises and updates to come.
Be happy, buddy. Yeah. A local teen with Down syndrome rejected for a homecoming date until another student steps up. The story that blew up social media. Plus, the Fox 5 Surprise Squad goes undercover to give a Chili's waitress the best shift of her life. And... I don't know anybody in this whole world that would open her heart up to these kids. How a mother's big heart gained the attention of more than 5 million people around the world. You're watching the Fox 5 Surprise Squad Super Edition. Powered by United Nissan, America First Credit Union, Albertsons, and Vons. This Fox 5 Surprise Squad Super Edition is powered by United Nissan, America First Credit Union, Albertsons, and Vons. We knew three years ago the Surprise Squad would make a difference, but we didn't realize how quickly word would spread. Here's proof that small acts of kindness can shake the world. God, I just can't believe this. I watch your videos and see how something small can make such a huge, huge difference to someone. It inspires me to do something. Claire, United Kingdom. You are earning such a nice place in the hearts of people like me, sitting thousands of miles across the sea in India. Mayank Carnwall. Each story shows there's still a few people out there who care and are loving. Aroso Yomi, Nigeria. This is Sassy Khan calling from Pakistan. My best regards to your team and keep up the good work. To continue sharing these stories around the world, you can subscribe to the Fox 5 Surprise Squad YouTube channel. Many of our surprises have been shared, but this one takes the cake. A local high school student with special needs is turned down for homecoming until another classmate steps up. 17-year-old Kylie says she doesn't see kids with disabilities as different, so she asked fellow classmate Daniel to the dance. Her sweet gesture prompted the Fox 5 Surprise Squad to give them a night they'd never forget. That's, that's them. Hello. Oh my God. I'm Monica Jackson with the Fox 5 Surprise Squad. Are you Kylie? Yes, ma'am. Hello, Kylie. Hi, Daniel. You look so handsome. Your story touched so many people, and everybody is so proud of you for asking Daniel out. Thank you. I hope I can make his night fun. Well, I think you have. You are great. I just want to take you home. And mom, you're over here. You okay? I'm just touched. My heart is happy. So this is going to be a pretty special night for you, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So we want you guys to arrive in style. Oh my goodness. They really got You will be arriving in a Rolls Royce to your homecoming. You look cry. <laughs> That's just amazing. What do you think, Daniel? Mama, so happy for me. You guys are awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not about that Daniel has a disability. It's Kylie didn't see any disabilities. That is like what your heart wants. It's a mom. Okay, guys, let's get in. Oh my gosh. You happy, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. This is Aliante Casino, and so we're gonna take you guys inside. This is Bistro 57. Hi, Chef Franco. Hey, let's see. <laughs> this is home. So whatever you guys want, just order it. And that's your pizza? They come here a lot, and I walk by and I'm like, I can never afford to come in here and eat. <laughs> what are your hopes for Daniel after high school? He actually wants to go to college. He's like, I'm gonna be a chef, and you know what? I'm gonna try as much as I can to provide that for him. What's wrong? Are you crying? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Is that for us? No way! You're joking! We are the Fox 5 Surprise Squad. That was a lot of surprises, right? Yeah? We're not done. I'm going to pass the mic over to Don Foreman. Where's Tanya? Come up here, Tanya. Daniel, you're a great young man. We're very proud of you. After you get out of high school, we're going to give you a $10,000 scholarship. That's real. That's from United Nissan. So now I got to get to Kylie. There's one more big gift. I'm going to need everybody's help, though. We're going to have to exit the left door here, okay? And we're going to have to walk outside. Come on, 
Give me your hand. Here we go. Oh this God. is for you. That's your car. I'm going to cry. I can't even. My, my mind is blown. Oh, my goodness. She, she's shaking. You just saw a young lady with a huge heart, and uh, she was inspirational. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Mama was so proud of me and my family, too. Daniel's big thing is I want to go to college and a lot of people put a lot of boundaries on Daniel and he's capable of doing anything and everything that he wants and this opportunity that he was blessed with is unbelievable. I don't do college. I'm really awesome and really cool. The reaction to this story even surprised us. Comedian Steve Harvey posted, this world would be an even greater place if we all were a little kinder to each other. And country legend Reba McIntyre wrote, this is one of the nicest, coolest, most generous, heartfelt videos I've ever watched. Daniel and his mom are shocked by the overall response. The fact that over a million people saw this story about Daniel and Kylie, it's truly overwhelming. I actually just got a um, text yesterday from a school that helps special needs kids, and it's a culinary program. It's just beyond belief of how much one little act of kindness can lead to all this. People coming up to us and saying, you know, oh, I saw your story, and even talking about it, it makes them tear up, which makes me tear up. <laughs> I am happy. It's just, I, I want yeah, everyone so. out there to know that just because you have Down syndrome doesn't mean I know, Mom. that you're different, right? I know. You know, huh? I know everything. I love you. <laughs> you are so smart, huh? Yes. Next, how this mom's life changed after her story was shared by millions across the world. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Jessica, a mother of four and waitress at Chili's, was working round the clock to keep her family together after receiving devastating news. With the help of her manager and a friend, the Fox 5 Surprise Squad went undercover to give her the best shift ever. We got a four-year-old, twin two-year-olds, and a six-month-old, so. Wow. Every Chili's that I've worked at, there's that bond. That's kind of how it feels, especially with Jessica. You know, when I got to this restaurant, she was pregnant. It's like, great, this is something exciting we get to experience with her, and then this happened. Her husband is fighting for his life. Testicle cancer is where it started. It spread through his stomach and into his lungs. They had to flight for life him to the LA hospital. She's been traveling back and forth from LA because she can't afford to miss work right now. I've been in LA for the last week, so yeah, I'm heading out tonight. Yeah, I'll be leaving around like three or four in the morning or so. She looks at him as 25 years old and a lot of fight in him. In her heart, she's still convinced that he's gonna be here for them. Our surprise squad is in the restaurant, undercover, ready to go. She has no idea this is going to be her best shift ever. She's worried about the van going back and forth. She's concerned with losing the home. Any money that they have coming in helps. It's like she just got the tip for $200. Here you go, you can just take okay, right back and change No, it's all for you. You're good. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh. It's a three hundred dollar tip. No idea. That's that's a it's a huge blessing. No, Thank you got so it. Much. What did he give you? What did he say? He gave you five hundred. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you a thousand. Oh my god! Don't do that. Are you serious right now? Sure. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you okay? Yes. You guys have no idea how much this means to me. My husband's actually in the hospital. I almost lost him a week ago. Ready? Here we go. Hello? Is Jessica here? I'm Monica Jackson with the Fox 5 Surprise Squad. How are you? Oh my god, I'm great. How are you? Oh my god. This is so amazing. Oh my god, I can't even believe this. We got four beautiful little ones. I gotta do it for them. That's all I can do. 
So when you get to the hospital where Robert is, what's the routine there? This week I had to just do it on a drop of a dime and I couldn't afford it. So I, um, I slept in my car for a day, but I'm trying to smile through it still. I have to, that's what, that's what everyone knows me for. Can I help you with this? Our family at United Nissan, we believe that at this time the best place for you to be is by your husband's side. So we put together a little something. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. You guys are my angels. Robert is going to be so happy. You got really choked up just knowing that she really was taken back by it that people, you know, complete strangers were looking out for her. I had no idea. I thought it was just me and my family out there trying to do this. <laughs> trying to keep all of our hopes and dreams alive and bringing daddy back home. Luckily my kids are young enough that I can shelter them from this, but my biggest thing is just keep your head high and keep smiling because as long as you can keep smiling, you'll make it through it. It's amazing just from everywhere, the outpour that I've had. New Zealand, I've gotten the United Kingdom, I've gotten India. Just people sending me their prayers and their thoughts and telling me how strong I am and hearing those things every day really helps. I can talk to those people and say, hey, you know what, thank you so much for saying that to me. You made my day. And sometimes that's all it takes just to make that smile come right back and know that everything's gonna make it. I get to see Robert every day in these kids. Everything that he did up until his last moment was for his family. He wanted to make sure that we were gonna be okay. And we are. We're gonna be okay, right? Each story is different and every need unique. That's why we encourage the community and businesses to get involved. This is your new car. Thank you. Yeah, I don't think that there's anything you can do in life that gives you the same feeling as giving back. To not only help the people that we're helping, but I think the people who view the program is priceless. I want to pay for your groceries. Well, sure. <laughs> When I send out the Surprise Squad stories, it's amazing. The influx immediately of emails I get back. I never see stuff on television that makes me feel this good. Thanks for sending this out. I needed this today. You ever done a shopping spree like this before? Not really. And at some, at some point you think to yourself, you know, how are you going to keep on one up in this? To help that, we've uh, put together a check for you for $10,000. The thing that amazes me is the amount of time and research and effort that goes on behind the scenes. When the Surprise Squad goes into Albertsons and Vons, our customers and our employees know exactly who they are. It's nice to see people that deserve it get it. I really, truly believe that this movement we call Surprise Squad is fantastic. <laughs> it needs to be a practice C to C. Surprise Squad! Coming up next, our biggest surprise ever. It's the best. It's just really overwhelming that somebody would do this for me and for my family. This is the story that started the largest chain of surprises ever. A North Las Vegas mother of three reaches out to another mother of five in a time of dire need. Tisha and her husband, Kevin, helped their desperate neighbor in a way that no one could have ever imagined. But for Tisha, it was something that her past had prepared her for. Audrey asked Tisha, I have to go into the hospital for some testing. Could my kids spend the night at your house? The test results came back that she had stage two esophageal and stomach cancer. It wasn't much longer than that, Audrey passed away. Something that a lot of people don't know, Tisha was brought up in an orphanage. She was not gonna let these kids go. Her five kids and her husband have now become a family of 10. I can't do nothing for her. They could use the help, because I don't know anybody in this whole world that would open her heart up to these kids. Hi, are you Tisha? Hi Tisha, I'm Cassandra Jones with the Fox 5 Surprise Squad. Hi, we received a letter about you from Elizabeth. Is it okay if we come in to talk to you? 
Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about what's been going on? On the 22nd of November, my, um, my neighbor, she actually passed away. And now I'm trying to become a foster mom so I can become their mom. So I know you didn't know Audrey that well. What made you so compelled to want to help and, and take in these children? Because they're kids. I had to go into the foster home and I don't want them to ever have to deal with anything I had to deal with as a child because children deserve to be children. They've been through too much. They deserve a loving family and a place to call home. To adopt the kids, Tisha needs to create a real bedroom for Caden and Kendall. Well, my son sleeps here and Audrey's son sleeps here. It was the loft, so I need a wall to close it off to make it a bedroom. This is where Destiny and Miranda sleep. So they're sharing a bed right now. This is Alicia and Morgan's bedroom. They actually look like twins. We're still missing one. Well, you're missing two. Holly, my 17-year-old daughter, sleeps in here. And I know this is kind of a, a big open space. It's almost like she's sleeping in the kitchen. Yes. And so seven, one more. Chad sleeps on the recliners here in the living room. He's been wanting to try to find a roommate and get an apartment. It just never works out. I'm, I'm at work a lot, so I would much rather me sleep on it before any of them sleep on it. I can't lose these kids. I might not have had them in my belly, but I have them in my heart. We definitely want to help. Our friends at Rebuilding Together are here, and they're going to be putting up that wall for you. Thank you, guys. This means so much. That is my big goal, is just to make sure that we are a family of 10 forever. All right, Tish, we've got our crew here. We're ready to get your wall up. Uh, Stations Casinos has you all taken care of for the rest of the week, and we'll see you in a few days. So we told this mom that we're just putting up a wall, but in true Surprise Squad fashion, we're doing so much more. We're gonna be moving every piece of furniture out of this home so you guys can come in and redo the carpets and paint. Because of our community partners like Ryder Construction and the City of North Las Vegas, we're able to come in here and do about six weeks of work in about three or four days. We're painting the entire inside, of cleaning up the landscaping, we replace all the carpet upstairs. We're doing everything we can to make this house a home. And thanks to our community, a truck full of furniture. Through very generous friends, we were able to raise the money for the furniture. It's important to give back and to show our kids the meaning of what the holidays are about. Amazing the number of hands that have come together to help the family get into this house. This is one of the biggest projects the Surprise Squad has done yet, and we came out in full force. My Fox 5 family never seems to, to stop amazing me. To see the work that we've done here is just, just amazing. Hopefully when they walk in that door, they'll all be able to smile. And anything we can do to make their lives a little bit easier, we're more than happy to do. I can't wait to see the reveal tomorrow in our faces when they see what we've done. We're on our way to pick up the family right now, and they have no idea what's coming. Here they come. Welcome home, family. Thank you. We wanted you to know you're not on this journey alone. There's a lot of people. <laughs> there are a lot of people here. And you know what? You thought we were just going to put up a wall, but we're the surprise squad, and we knew we had to do a whole lot more. Do you want to go see your new home? Yeah. yeah. I never thunk in a million years my home could look like this. Okay, you guys want to see your rooms? Yeah. yeah. I can't see it. I know, because guess what? You have a wall now. This wasn't here before. Go ahead, boys. Oh my god! Yes! What do you guys think? I love oh it. God. It's the best. Thank you. Miranda and Destiny. Oh. And now you need to touch your own bed. I like it a lot. <laughs> Alicia and Morgan. This is them. How did you guys do that? Holly's next. <gasps> this is your own new little space. <laughs> what do you think? It's amazing. I wasn't expecting something like this. Chad, this is where you've been sleeping. We couldn't create a space for you, but this is $1,500 to go towards getting your very own apartment. That's amazing, wow. It's been a transformation. We also want to make sure the house is full of food, so we're providing a year's worth of groceries thanks to our partners, Albertsons and Vaughn's. Oh my God! It's usually hard to figure out how we're gonna get food and 
we always do it, but we're not going to have to stress about that. <laughs> That's amazing. It's just really overwhelming that somebody would do this for me and for my family. I didn't do anything too special. I did what anybody in my shoes would have done. We have Don Foreman from United Nissan and his family. Our family at United Nissan heard there was one more thing that your new family of 10 needed. No way. Oh my God. It fits 12. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh my God. These kind of things don't really happen. <laughs> I want to just keep our family of 10 the way that we've always been. We're happy. I, I love all eight of them. And, and as long as they're happy, I'm happy. Welcome home! It, it was surreal. I mean, I can't ground them to go to their room anymore because they want, they're in there anyways. <laughs> oh gosh, the van has changed my life. All the kids' as friends, they want a ride to and from school. It made me feel like I was being cared about and that someone was loving me. We're still a family no matter what, but there's still a lot of work to do to make it official. And I have no doubt that it's gonna be a happy ending. Anybody can be a superhero. It doesn't have to be a figment of your imagination. You just have to do one good thing and you could be somebody's hero.